Um, life after death is an idea. All ideas have a history. Some ideas last for a long time. Everybody thought that Newton's ideas of cosmology and the universe would last forever, but they only lasted for 200 years until Einstein came along. A lot of people thought that Darwin's strange ideas would not last, but modern biology is entirely Darwinian. Conversely, there were ideas like phlogiston theory, if you don't know what that was, or you can't spell it, join the club, because phlogiston theory was a nonsense science idea from the 19th century. And in the 1840s and 1850s, people would spend good money on having their children's heads felt because the science of phrenology had the idea that bumps on your head could reveal what you were suited for. And we still speak sometimes about, oh, do you have a bump of locality? You know, can you read maps? But we now know that bumps on your head make absolutely no difference to your psychosocial being or the possibilities for your future. So good ideas and bad ideas. As religion declined in the 20th century, it did look as though survival, life after death, would fall into the waste paper basket of bad ideas. And I think one of the strongest arguments in favor of at least examining the possibility of life after death is simply that it hasn't disappeared like phlogiston theory or phrenology. It's still with us. And you could say, with the improvement in resuscitation techniques in hospitals and so on, near-death experiences have given us far more evidence that something may, does seem to survive for some people after the body is dead. And all that amounts to a challenge, I think, to the normal materialist account, which would really just say, well, look, you know, as Thomas Hardy put it, where a man falls, he lies. <laughs>